you you may have your seats in the presence of the Lord and my job is very simple I'm here to welcome you all to this very very wonderful evening of praise worship and songs to our father and our God the one that gave his life and sent it on assignment to destroy the hold of the enemy and to take captivity captive, it's him that we're here to honor tonight. Our God is an awesome wonder. I 
the song that I sing. You are the reason why I live. Where can I go without you, Change 
is coming upon your destiny. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Jesus, take your place. Let every other name fade away. Jesus, take your place. Let every other name fade away. Let cancer fade away. Let Jesus take your place. Let every other name fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Gazelle of the esteem paradise of blessed radiance upon my beautiful soul. She is my priceless jewel. Each night in a playtime, I watch you sit, a paper boat on a pail of water, and then she will watch it sail. And when it wrecks, she will laugh, and then she will say, Daddy, can this boat rise again? And then it happened. On the 18th BC, we walked together to my factory. She sat on my desk and then she fiddled with my laptop. I held her brittle fingers and then I wiped the germs of her palms. And then she went upstairs to greet my friends. All of a sudden, everywhere was dead quiet. And then the alarm of fire rang restlessly. I ran upstairs and I was trapped between saving my daughter or my friends. Gasping and groaning, 
I saw my father, my pillar. I looked at him pleading, begging, calling, imploring for him to save me from the grave, abandoning bravery. I watched in despair as my father looked from his friends to me, from me to his friends again and again and again and again and silently wishing and praying that he will let this cup pass over me. I watched as the fire licked into ashes. I stood still, I was dumbfounded and I was lost in despair. This story reminds me of the story of Jesus. The reason we are gathered here today, how the father watched as the son was whipped with the flagrum, tearing his back, leaving splattered blood on the floor. The story reminds me of Jesus, how the father watched that the son carried a 300 pounds cross on his shoulders with four meters high and two meters being wide. Oh, how the father watched as the crown of thorns was forced down his son's head, producing trickles of blood down his face. Oh, how the father watched that the son's side was pierced. He was given vinegar for water. Oh, how the father watched that the son was battered and bruised, dehydrated and exhausted, scorned and scorched. How the father watched that the son was battered. The father watched that the son was rejected and dejected. The father watched as they hammered a six inches nail into his left hand a six inches nailed into his right hand, a six inches nailed into his left foot and his right foot, sticking him to the cross. The nail that went into his feet was a reformation of a foundation in Jesus Christ. And when they thought they buried him, they forgot that he's the seed of righteousness. And in him we are complete. And what shall save us, what shall separate us from the love of Christ? Oh, death, where is the sting? Oh, oh great, where, where is, is the victory? victory? The cross goes beyond the symbol, the massive cathedrals, the preachers, the teachers. It goes beyond this concert. The cross goes beyond you. The cross goes beyond me. And what should separate us from this love of Christ? Shall tribulation, persecution, death, height, things now, and things to come. Nothing, 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 nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. Christ. Nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. Thank you. Thank you very much. You may have your seats. Thank you very much. The Lord will honor you all. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to do two things here briefly and perhaps and as quickly as I can possibly do it. My heart yearns for somebody today, the finest preacher in town, yeah. the best demo, and I would like a few pastors to join me as we spend time to pray together. Last week in our church, we spent a few minutes to pray for this, uh, this lovely girl from Dapchi. The cross concert, the cross campaign, it's a campaign, not just a concert. It's about the very essence of our faith. <laughs> Her name is Leah Sharibu. Our faith is a challenge today to the men that preach the same. I wrote this poem for her. I've read it over and over again. She's not a preacher like us, but she's living the faith most of us preach. Yeah. Yeah. I resolve to stand for Christ without fear of a life reminds me of the three Hebrew boys in the Bible. Leah, Sharibu, the young girl who defied the brutality of Boko Haram. She's her own very Nigerian Yusuf Malala, who is standing for her views, her opinion, and her position on faith. A faith can sense that of ours in the South because she's the best practitioner of faith. Yes. She embraced pain in adversity while we shamefully glean over our gain in prosperity. 
She has challenged our projects of building cathedrals down south with a lowly lifestyle. A young girl in Dapchi, somewhere, Yobe, state of Nigeria. Now, the religious noise in Lagos can't make a louder impression than a whisper from Dapchi. I commend our pastor because he must have taught her the true faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lea Sharibu. Yes, the girl who practiced what Jesus said. Fear not him who can kill the body but cannot hurt the soul. I thought you would clap for Jesus. The girl who lived what Peter said when he claimed the trial of our faith is more precious than gold. The girl who's willing to be the last one left behind. So that she may not be left behind after rapture. The girl who inspires the true cost of discipleship. By being willing to deny herself for our Lord and our Savior. Help me tell Leah that she's a real hero in her faith today. She has earned her own by standing for Jesus in this cruel north of the Nigerian state. I'm happy to be a Christian today because of Leah. Put your hands together, everybody. She reminds me of what our faith is all about. I'm happy to learn faith from this 15-year-old girl who may not be our regular preacher, but certainly is better than most of us. My heart yearns for deliverance for Leah. My heart prays at this point for Leah. I'll ask Bishop Olale, Bishop Shalare, please join me up here. I ask Bishop Jonas Aoni and my friend Ladi Thompson. I want the church to rise for just one minute and let's pray for Leah. Let's pray for her. Let us spend one minute to just ask God, like it happened in Acts chapter 12. Those of you on the overflows, spend one minute to remember the faith of a girl who's out there somewhere. And let us ask God to please deliver her, to touch her, to help her. Please join me on this place. As a symbol of unity of a church, we're going to hold hands together. We're going to spend the next one minute to just pray for that young girl out there. Let's hold hands together. Church, please, could you help me? Let's remember this girl called Leah Sharibu. And let's pray the next one minute. In Acts chapter 12, when Peter was taken, the Bible says the church lifted a voice and prayed. And God intervened. We serve the Almighty God. We serve the Almighty God. As we celebrate cross concert, Easter, let the power of his resurrection do something wonderful and miraculous for Leah. Shall we bow our heads to pray? Begin to ask God to intervene in the next two minutes. So you've been blessed by that message. However, I would like to get something from you. I love feedbacks a lot. Communication is not just telling something, also about receiving the feedback. I would like to hear from you, read from you, perhaps even call me. There are numbers on the screen right now, and my email address is right now on the screen. Guess what? That email address gets directly to my box. We have it linked to me. I promise you, I will reply you. Should you have questions about the message, issues you want me to probably consider, maybe topics you want me to preach about, or perhaps also to address during one of my sermons, Kindly send me a mail now. I love feedbacks. I would love to hear from you. And hey, if you're out there, you're not born again. You want to give your life to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. You have to do it. You don't have to just turn off this dial without giving your life to Christ. That's all why we're here, to lead men to Christ. Call us. We'll send you something. We'll lead you to Christ. There are many counselors right now waiting right on the other side, waiting to hear from you, waiting to call you, to pray with you, and also to counsel you. We hope to be here again next week, the same channel, the same time. Please make it a date with us. And if you are anywhere in our church branches, near our own communities, Zulere, Aja, probably Festak, and as well Abuja, worship with any of the Fota churches. God bless you. God keep you. And God will always preserve you. Thank you. Bye-bye.